What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JD back with another NBA 2K24 video for you. And the other day I made a new build and I was trying to find an NBA player to compare it with. And I was on my way over here to the Gatorade gym and I saw this Jason Tatum mural on the side of the building. And I thought, you know what? This build would probably be a very good comparable like Jason Tatum type build. Plus I just did a face creation for y'all not that long ago for Tatum as well. So I thought, you know, why not? It would be a, uh, you know, a nice comparison, a, a good video to make for you guys. So I'm going to give you guys the Jason Tatum build. Um, I'm going to start out with the template build, showing you what his actual template build looks like in NBA 2K24. And then I'm going to show you my version and then a slightly tweaked version too if you want to get some different animations. So drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right into it. Alright, so before we actually get into the builder and I show you my build, I wanted to show you the Jason Tatum template build. This is something new for NBA 2K24. It's kind of like the um, builds that they did last year, like the replica type builds and everything. And he had one last year too called The Problem. Um, but this is his template build. As you can see, it's probably one of the better small forward builds. It's 6 foot 8, 210 with a 610 wingspan. And then when you look at the, the stats overall, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but you can see obviously really nice finishing on it. 83 driving dunk, 84 layup, nice post control. You know, it's got a good mid range, a good three ball. Um, the the like uh, playmaking, everything on it is a, basically exactly what you want on a build this height in this thing if you're gonna want to handle the ball a little bit. And then the defense is pretty solid too, with pretty good physicals. So let's hold over to the builder. I'm gonna show you my Jason Tatum build, and then I'm gonna show you, like I said, the one that I tweaked just a little bit if you wanted to get some extra animations. So let's head over there. All right, so here we are on the builder. I'm going to show you my version of this Jason Tatum build before we get into the other one here. I'm going to go right-handed, jersey number zero, like Tatum. Like I said, we're going to go small forward on this one. And I know his template build is listed at 6'8", but if you guys remember, uh, Joe Knows just did a video not that long ago on his point guard and why he went 6'9", over 6'8", because you actually get more attributes by going 6'9", and you can still move and do everything that you want to do at 6'9" as the six foot eight build would so for me we're gonna go six foot eight on this one we're gonna go minimum weight we're gonna go 185 pounds and then on the wingspan we're gonna go seven foot four on the wingspan and i'll show you why when we get in here so we're gonna start down here with the physicals i like starting there just because the physicals are tied into so many different attributes and the badges and everything they unlock so for the speed we're gonna go 80 on the speed We're gonna max out the acceleration at 73. For the strength, we're gonna go 50, because you're gonna need the 50 strength to get silver clamps, which we're gonna have on this build when we get up into the defense. For the vertical, we're gonna go 82. And then for the stamina, we're gonna max that out at 99. Stamina doesn't seem to cost as much in NBA 2K24 as maybe it did in, in past. Um, it helps with some different badge things and it just helps you in general not to be blinking red when you're running around the court whether you're dribbling or you're trying to shoot so those are the different um, physicals that we're going to go with now moving up to the offensive side of things for the close shot on this build it's going to drag it up there when we start moving this forward so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 77 on the driving layup and what that's going to give here as you're looking over on the badges the 77 driving layup will give you the gold float game badge. Um, floaters are, are really effective in NBA 2K24. I like to use them a lot, so that's why I went 77 on this particular one. Gives you some decent animations. Um, if you wanted to tweak a few things, you could get this up to 80, um, you know, to get the pro uh, touch on Hall of Fame. I'm going to show you that in the second version, but for this version that I made, I went 77, like I said, for that gold float game. You can see some of the other badges you get there. Now I don't have any builds right now that have a uh, like have contact dunks or anything on them. So I know you just need a minimum. Um, you, know, you could go like 87, 89, or all the way. But I wanted to get the full effect of having contact dunks on my build. So maybe I went a little bit overboard. But for me, like I said, I wanted to get the full effect. So we're going 94 on our driving dunk. As you can see, looking at some of the badges over there, that's going to give us access to gold posterizer the hall of fame slithery the gold precision dunker and aerial wizard it's also going to give you the hall of fame bunny spin cycle and two-step for doing those euro step layups 
reverses and different things like that. So we're going to have really nice driving dunk capabilities. Um, you've seen some of the clips we catching bodies already on this build. So having a lot of fun there. With the standing dunk, I had an extra attribute point, so I just put it up to a 50. Um, having it at 45 will unlock all of the um, normal like under basket animations and everything. So we're going to be able to unlock those. So your player's going to be able to dunk just fine when he's underneath the hoop. You can see we have, we have that uh, the gold precision dunker and the aerial wizard. We're not going to get fast with your rise up on this. Like I said, we're not primarily going to be under the hoop trying to dunk, so we're not going to put our close shot or the standing dunk too high. One thing we are going to do though is we're going to put that post control up. You saw he had like an 81, I think, in his template build. For this build, we're going to go to 85. That's going to get us that silver unpluckable that we're looking for. It's also going to get us the uh, drop stepper on gold and post spin technician on gold too. Both very effective um, badges to have. So you're going to be able to bully the smaller guards. You're going to be able to move and do a little bit within post fades and different uh, animations and such when you're down on the post on this build. So 85 on the post control. That wraps up the finishing. Let's move down to the shooting. Now in the template build, I think he had 82 for both his uh, mid range and his three point shot. We're going to kind of average that out or kind of meet in the middle. I don't know what, what, what you want to call that, but for the mid range shot, we're going to go up to 84 in this one. What that's going to do is going to unlock some of the different badges. Let me put the three ball up here and I'll show you all the different badges we're going to have. We're going to max this three ball out at an 80. So when we put that with the 84 mid range, that's going to give us silver blinders. It's going to get us gold catch and shoot. And then it's going to get us silver dead eye, you know, green machine, space crater. Um, you're going to get the gold midi magician having that 84 mid range. You're going to get silver open looks. Um, you know, like I said, you, you could tweak it a little bit, but for me, I wanted the, the gold midi magician to go along with uh, the gold post fade phenom as well. So having that 85 post control and the 84 mid range, you can be able to do a lot of nice, you know, post fade type animations. You're going to get the gold dream shake. So when you're doing them little, um, you know, little shimmies in the post, you can stun your opponent, do different things like that. So you're also going to get access to more jump shots by having the mid range up a little bit higher to 84. Um, than you would if you left the lower mid range and only had your three ball at like an 80. So you're gonna get access to a lot of um, nice jump shots as well. So that's gonna help you out. Um, down in the free throw, we're gonna go with a 75 on the free throw. Um, you guys know me, I like to play a lot of wrecks, so having a, a nice free throw on this build is definitely gonna be a must. Moving down to the playmaking, um, I think I'm like set up on template. I'm kind of referencing that here. I think he had 75 on the pass accuracy. 80 ball handle and 75 speed with ball for the pass accuracy on this one I went 77 just to get the bronze needle threader just a badge I liked and I like the the way the ball moves as opposed to having just strictly a 75 you know pass accuracy you still get the uh, Sabonis and John Morant pass styles if you're looking for those um, but you get the relay passer on silver and then you get the bronze needle threader by moving that up to a 77 as well. I'm going to move down to the speed with ball. We're going to put that at 75. That's going to get you access to the Magic Johnson dribble style that's so popular. So you can be able to definitely be able to move around a little bit with this. And then the ball handle. I know he had 80 in his template build and 80 does lot, unlock a lot of nice animations. And the second build I'm going to show you is actually going to have the 80 ball handle on it. But for mine, I went to 76. And I went 76 over 75 just to get the bronze speed booster. Um, 75 ball handle will unlock all of Jason Tatum's dribble animations, which I have equipped on my build. So being a Jason Tatum build, like I said, 75 will get you all of the dribble animations. It'll get you like the uh, with the other stuff. You got the, the hop shot, the fade, all of that good stuff. You can get all of Tatum's animations. So it's a really nice blend for the type of player that I'm looking for. And you can still move having a 76 ball handle. So moving down to the defense, I didn't really want to shy away here. You know, uh, his template build's pretty solid, and Tatum's known to be a pretty good defender as well. So on our interior defense, we're going to have a 61 interior defense. Our perimeter defense, we're going to go up to an 87. And the reason we're going to go 87 over 85, which gives you the silver clamps, we're going 87 to get that gold challenger. That's really nice for having them close outs and everything when, you know, obviously your opponent is shooting on the, the perimeter, having that gold challenger is gonna get you a better contest on the shot and everything. So 87 on the perimeter, and then we're gonna go 81 on the steel. That's gonna get you the silver interceptor badge, and then you also have the bronze glove 
and the bronze right stick ripper as well but having that silver interceptor interceptor excuse me is nice for being able to play the lanes and stuff like that you know 81 still is pretty solid in this game now moving down to the block i would have liked to move this up a little bit higher but we were a little bit strapped for attributes but i knew i at least wanted to get chase down artist on bronze at a minimum so we needed 68 block to do that so that's exactly what we're going to do on this build we're going to go 68 on the block now i still get a lot of nice block animations and by having the bronze chase down uh, artist it will unlock some of those chase down animations as well so i've, I've seen a fair amount of those already my build is only a, i think a 91 uh, overall at the moment but even have, having that 68 block like i said you get you get some nice block animations and you're going to be plenty effective you've got long arms you go 82 vertical um, so you're going to be pretty effective there we're going to skip the offensive rebound and then the last little bit we're going to put on defensive rebound which is going to get us up to a 60 and that's going to unlock the browns rebound chaser and if you remember from my 5-7 uh, build video that i did having that 60 defensive rebound and unlocking the bronze rebound chaser will just help you secure more rebounds it will attach your player to that rebound um, it'll help you chase down the loose balls a little bit better if you're you know trying to secure like i said secure the rebound or whatever so 60 on the defensive rebound so there you have it this is my version this is the build that i made um, for my you know quote unquote jason tatum type build now if you were looking to get that 80 um, ball handle something you could do is you're going to leave the physicals the same you're going to leave the defense the same um, one thing we're going to change if you wanted to take the driving dunk down just a little bit you could take that down to a 90 which you're still going to have the silver posterizer you're still going to have silver slithery you're going to get the gold precision dunker you know you're going to get a lot of those same types of badges but what that's going to allow you to do is go down here and move your ball handle up to an 80 and then the last thing i think i would do as well is we could move the standing dunk down to the 45 since we moved the driving dunk down the 45 will still get you all your under basket animations but put the driving layup up to an 84 as you can see here that gives you access now to gold acrobat it gives you the hall of fame pro touch which you didn't have before it gets you the hall of fame scooper uh, you still have the gold float game and giant slayer now you have a hall of fame spin cycle you have the hall of fame two-step before plus i think it unlocks some different layup package animations at an 84 so you could definitely go more of a route like this if you wanted to take your driving dunk down a little bit you could both increase your layup and you could get that ball handed to an 80 if you were looking to unlock some specific dribble animations and then that last little bit you could throw up here on the free throw to give you a 76 free throw so it's a couple of different variations of the build um you know if you want to see what this one i think they have the same build name regardless of how you do it you get shades of rj barrett you get the other celtic you get jalen brown on this one and then stephen jackson and then it's called a two-way three-level threat which is the same build name as you get on the one that i have as well so i think you know it references out to it would be a nice jason tatum build let me know what you think down in the comments i'm gonna leave a card here at the end of the video with all of the other builds that i've done so far for nba 2k24 as well as the face creations so if you're looking for a jason tatum face creation to go with your build definitely go check that out and as always don't forget to drop a like on the video that helps your boy out subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one i'm out peace